yeah, today I am here to bring you a review of The Investigator by Margarita to Kemelin. This is very kindly sent to me for a review by Glagoslav Publications and I was really excited when they emailed me because basically they champion books from countries where we don't necessarily hear that much about the authors. So there's a lot of Russian authors, Yugoslavian authors and Turkish authors and things like that. So it was something I was really excited by. I also want to say that this is translated by Melanie Moore. Too often I forget to mention the translators. So it's Melanie Moore who translated this. This is a Russian sort of crime mystery novel. It's set in the 50s in Soviet Union, Russia, and it's just after the war and I I think I don't know much about the history but I think Stalin was just being overthrown or something along those lines and basically we follow an investigator who is investigating killing of a woman in the town that he lives and obviously he's trying to find out why at first we think it's an open and shut case but of course it's a crime mystery novel it's not going to be i really think the 50s sort of crime noir-esque attitude really comes across well in this novel it's so well done and so well built and you just get this real sense of underlying doom and it also although it focuses on obviously the investigator it very much looks as well at the social issues that are going on at the time especially relating to Jews and I will say at first I was a bit baffled because I read on the back that the author is a Ukrainian Jewish woman but she was using very anti-Jewish language but I soon realised that that's just an attempt to sort of display the attitude towards Jews at the time obviously it was just after the war and we do look at the horrors briefly that went on during the war as well but it very much looks at the way that the attitude of people towards the Jewish community changed a lot in that time um, which actually ended up being quite interesting at first it was almost on the brink of being uncomfortable for me but you soon get into the flow of it and it you realise very much that it is just the way that the people have been led to treat these people um, and you very much look at the atrocities that took place. Um, I would say this is not your typical fast-paced thriller. In a lot of ways it reminded me of The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton in the way that it's quite a slow-burning literary crime thriller so if you like fast-paced bam bam crimes this is not for you. I would also say that the crime almost becomes an underlying theme to the social issues and also the characterization in this book. The crime itself wasn't the main focus and I think at the end when the crime is revealed it was a bit of an anticlimax for me but it didn't matter a huge deal because I really enjoyed mainly the characterization and the development of the characters. It's going to be hard to talk about without giving too much away but basically it's first person from the investigator's perspective and because it's first person you obviously get quite a narrow view and as you're going through and from the revelations that happen and the conversations that happen you realise that all is not necessarily as it seems and the people who you think are bad actually have good sides to them even though they've done bad things and the people who you think are good also have done bad things so again that very much reminded me of the luminaries and the fact that no one was completely innocent in the situation like no one was 100% good and I think that's really good and also it didn't make you not like the characters they were likeable really well developed and fascinating characters in here but you could see both sides of their personality and you accepted them for that in a lot of ways and also I think it's important to note that obviously the stuff that had been happening especially to the Jewish community made people act in a sometimes unpleasant or unflattering way but you could understand why and it was just I think it was really effective for characterization if you like good characters that build as you go along then definitely give this a go. I would say I didn't get straight into it but I think that's kind of because in the start you're giving quite sparse information and it can seem a bit like you don't have a clue what's going on but as you read on things very much unfold and you start seeing a different point of view of what's been happening and also I think the translation for me could have done a little bit more it was quite a literal translation so it wasn't the most flowery of translations and I think maybe we could have gone a bit further into that and the translator could have inserted some of her own sort of perspective on things but I think it was literally translated word for word but that also didn't work very well in terms of names Now I don't know anything about the Russian language but from what I got from reading this was that in the same way that in some languages you have masculine and feminine names or casual and sort of business-like names um, in this there seemed to be depending on who was speaking to who 
characters had slightly different variations of their names. I don't know whether that's just nicknames or the way that the Russian language works, but I think again that was a slight downfall in the translation for me because it should have probably been smoothed over just to avoid confusion, but it's not too bad and it's certainly just a minor niggle because you do still get the general gist of what's happening. So I would definitely recommend this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was another one of those books and probably the first one since The Luminaries to be fair, where I just couldn't put it down and I was completely gripped from about page 50 onwards. It really got me. I would say read this in chunks. I definitely enjoyed it more once I started reading it in chunks because at first I was just reading a few pages here and there um, and finding it quite hard to get into but as soon as I read a big chunk I was completely sold. And as I say, fans of the Luminaries, I'm sure you will enjoy this. It's simply set in 1950s Russia instead of in 1800 whatever New Zealand, whatever the Luminaries was. But it's it's got very similar themes and a very similar way of unravelling and it's well worth a read. So thank you very much Glagoslav for sending me that. I'm so glad that I got to read it. And I'm a bit sad because they contacted me before I started doing my um, independent publisher series. Else I would have done the independent publishers for this but I've only got two books from them. Um, I'll see how the next one goes and I might decide to get two more and make it into a wrap up for the series. I'm not sure yet. But anyway I will link their website down below and I would definitely recommend checking them out. They've got some really fascinating sounding books on their website and I'll see you next time. Bye!